To balance this equation, P4O6 plus H2O, we first count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have four phosphorus atoms, six oxygen, plus, don't forget the oxygen here in water, that gives us seven. And then we have the two hydrogen atoms. Product side, one phosphorus, three oxygens, three hydrogen atoms. I like to leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last. Let's do the phosphorus first. So we could put a four here in front of the H3PO3 phosphorus acid. So if we do that, we have three times four. That'll give us 12 hydrogen atoms, one times four, four phosphorus atoms. So those are balanced. And then three times four, we get 12 oxygen atoms. So this odd number here, that's a problem with the oxygen, but let's leave the oxygen to last. Let's try to balance the hydrogen and see what happens. So we need to put a six as our coefficient here, two times six, that would give us 12. Let's update the oxygen atoms here. Now we have six here plus one times six, that gives us 12, and this equation is balanced. So when you're balancing equations, a good strategy is to leave the oxygen atoms to last. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P4O6 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.